Hi, Wally from Pioneer Plastics. Today I'll be visiting Luan from Sustainable Engineering that designed the Little Green Monster. Today I'm here with Luan. Luan is the mastermind behind the Little Green Monster. They designed and also patented the, the Little Green Monster's design with all the hydraulic flows. Um, we're going to be looking at a site where one of our Little Green Monsters has been running for some time. This is a community center um, in the Grabo area in the Western Cape. Um, with a very very special story. This is a kindergarten um, for the community with about 14 kids and, and 3 adults um, where Luan has installed the system and um, they're using that gas for cooking and preparing meals. Um, Luan is going to explain to us quickly the, the flow of the system and then we'll look at the kitchen and, and the rest of the design of the, the system. Luan, tell us about the system. Um, so basically over on this side we have a toilet um, the toilet's effluent comes into the Little Green Monster by means of a normal sewer pipe. Um, inside the Little Green Monster, organics are turned into biogas by means of anaerobic digestion. Um, and the biogas is trapped inside the unit. And the overflow of the unit goes out into a French drain. Now, the biogas is pressurized inside the unit. Um, and the gas line goes underground all the way in, uh, into the kitchen on the other side. Which we'll show you in a second. No, and I also see there's, there's some pigs um, and the, uh, this is a, a feeding point for all the uh, additional organic waste and potato peels and, 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 and food. Uh, do they currently feed that into the system as well? So basically into this um, rotting eye you can feed anything from pig manure to cut grass to food waste and um, any additional soft organics. You can feed in there and the little green monster will turn it into biogas that you can use to cook in the kitchen. And they're doing that at the center now? Yes. Yeah. What we're also going to show you with this line, we've installed a little water trap to, to um, run off all the, the um, condensate in the lines. And then we'll show you the kitchen unit where they're doing the cooking on a unit that Luan has also modified to, to work with the biogas. So basically this is the inside of the toilet. Um, over on this side we have a poor flush toilet, it uses about uh, 1 to 3 liters of water per flush um, so it is very very um, resource wise. Um, the kids come here and from here the organics basically goes into the little green monster that turns it into biogas for cooking. Okay so what we've done is from the little green monster on the other side where the gas line comes through the ground all the way to the kitchen we've installed a condensate drain valve um, at the low point in the gas line so that all the condensate that gathers at one point will actually be able to drain out of this valve over here and I can show you you can see there the condensate is coming out ok so Basically the gas line comes in over here with a gas valve that you can stop the gas from coming out um, of the Little Green Monster and we just have a flexible tube leading up to the biogas cooker. Now the biogas cooker um, has been changed over here so basically the jet has been drilled bigger and the air intake has been closed. Wow, very nice. 